What is going on my Super Sandwiches, Ramsa here and today I bring you some more news for Attack on Titan for the PS4, PS3 and PS Vita and uh, before I continue the game has been uh, scheduled for a release date of February 18th for Japan and the rest of the world sometime in 2016. When we get that release date I'll let you guys know but for now uh, if you live in Japan you get to play it early unless you import it. Now as always if you want to read the article for yourself I will link it in the description below. So big shout out to Gamatsu for the new information based off an interview that was done with one of the producers of the game and Famitsu Magazine. So without further ado let's talk about all this new information. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to read all the new info and then comment on everything and give you my own thoughts. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Start with the playable characters. Uh, there are 10 confirmed playable characters in the game. Eden, Mikasa, Armin, Krista, Sasha, Connie, Jean, Levi, Hanj, and Erwin. Now, they don't say if this is the final list or what, but I noticed there's no Annie on that. And I know a lot of us wanted to play as Annie, but at least we get Eden. Uh, and as far as why both of those characters are special, I don't want to reveal that in case you haven't checked out Attack on Titan. But uh, at least we get Eden, uh, if you know why I'm talking about these characters. You know, the big transformation and stuff like that. So, uh, those are the 10 playable characters for now. But again, I don't know if that's going to change, if there's any DLC plan or what the deal is. But that's what Famitsu Magazine uh, has mentioned or revealed from their interview. The story is intended to let users experience the first season of the anime from beginning to end. Depending on where the story is, the character you control will change. Scenes from the original work, highlights for each character, and so on are being created as proper events. The story has been produced well enough for people who don't know the original work to understand the story of Attack on Titan. So just as I suspected, it's going to cover just the first season of the series, which again makes sense. And uh, looks like they're going to change bits of it to make it, uh, I guess, fit into a game. Because to be honest, uh, the first season wasn't really that long, only 25 episodes. And uh, if you were to take the events from the first season and put it into a game, that would just be roughly like a two hour long game. So it's kind of cool to see they're going to change stuff to make it fit and make uh, more sense. And the cool thing is we get to relive uh, the story of Attack on Titan for a season through a different perspective. So I kind of like how they're going to do that with the game. There will be original episodes not featured in the original work by the original author and supervising editor to sh that shed the spotlight on characters. So again, they're going to make uh, the story a little bit different to uh, you know, squeeze the other characters in, which makes sense. In addition to the story mode, here's the new stuff. In addition to the story mode, there's an investigation outside the walls mode, which is a weird name. I hope that's not the actual name. I think it's just a description of it. Where you can go about various missions playing as your favorite character. This mode can be used for character development, finding weapon material, and gathering funds. So it sounds like a free mode where you basically you just get to play uh, the game again. I can't really tell if this is like a free mode or a free roam mode or what the deal is, but it looks like in this uh, mode, is going to be more of a uh, chill and just play and kill titans type of thing. Now again, no information doesn't really reveal that much, but uh, at least we got an insight, a little bit of insight of the other modes available to this game outside of story mode. After clearing the story mode, a warrior style free mode unlocks where you can play stages with your favorite characters. So again, it kind of reminds me of the battle mode in uh, Pyre Warriors, where you basically get to play the story again with a different character, which uh, I, that sounds like investigation outside of walls mode, but I can't really tell what that actually means. And I don't know what a warrior style free mode actually means as well. Like warrior style makes me think of attack, not attack of Titan, uh, pirate warriors and dynasty warriors. So I don't know what that exactly means. But again, um, we have another glimpse of a mode. Now something I'll mention is that they don't talk about multiplayer in this. Now originally a while back, I remember it was Saint Island who reported that there was going to be a multiplayer mode where you basically get to play in a horde style type of thing. Uh, and it kind of makes you nervous that they're not talking about that. So I don't know if that changed or if that was misinformation or what the deal is. But uh, a multiplayer mode in Attack on Titan would be a lot of fun. Like think about it, a squad game. You team up with like three friends and you take on Titans. Like that would be a lot of fun and I really hope they do end up giving us that. But as of right now there's no word on multiplayer at all. And uh, honestly if they don't have multiplayer in this game, it's going to be a huge letdown for myself. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. During battles, you'll move along and fight throughout the stage to achieve the state of goal. In the middle, submissions like save so and so from a dilemma will occur. There will also be a lot of hidden missions. So again, uh, a game like Attack of Titan based in the first season would not be long enough. So it only makes sense that they toss in a bunch of extra stuff like, hey, go save so and so, go do this, go do that while doing the main mission. So again, it's kind of uh, expected with a game like this. Players can also battle Titans by themselves, but in order to inflict immediate damage, it's important to fight alongside allies. Now this makes me kind of nervous because I hate games that require you to fight alongside with the ally because AI in games is usually not that great. Now if they had multiplayer it'd be great but if I have to rely on Armin's AI in this game to basically help you take down a titan it can get really annoying especially if he keeps getting himself killed and all that good stuff. So I really hope that this game is not really focused too much on working the ally as opposed to being able to work with yourself or a friend if multiplayer is in this game. Players can give basic instruction to their allies while fighting against the titans. Based on the character, there are even situations where you can give direct orders. So, uh, if, in my case, I'm probably going to just tell my characters or my allies 
to just kind of chill out and sit and do nothing while I do all the work. Because again, you can never trust an AI, especially in an anime game. I mean, usually with anime uh, games, uh, the AI characters tend to be even worse than regular games. So we'll see how that works out whenever the game comes out in February. Because I am going to import it, uh, and I guess, or whenever the game comes out in the rest of the world. While moving around on the three-dimensional maneuver gear, you can go any place freely so long as the wire can hit it. The square button is to shoot wire and X is to boost. Okay, so it's pretty simple controls. You'll automatically shoot to the place where the wire hooks while flying through the air. You can designate the direction you want to go with left uh, with the left stick. Okay, so again, it's pretty simple controls. Given the sense of speed while moving around with the three-dimensional maneuver gear, there are some 3D motion sickness problems, but Koei Tecmo says it was able to successfully resolve them. You know, I've, I, I've never gotten sick from playing the game, but has anybody else gotten sick? If you have, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, because I actually thought about how uh, how it would work if you start moving really, really fast in this game. But apparently, there is no motion sickness, so we'll see. But again, I've never been motion sick from a game. If you have, let me know that in the comment section below. Characters have movement mode and a combat mode. You can switch to combat mode with the R1 button as you approach a Titan. During combat mode, your wire shoots and our, your wire shots are devoted to the Titan rather than the general movement. Okay, so it's basically like a lock-on, that makes sense. The pendulum-like movement of wire shots from the original work will be reproduced in the game. Also, given that you'll fight while almost never touching the ground, the game will remain faithful to the setup of the original work. Uh, well, I mean, I assume that you'll never get on the ground, because if you try to fight a Titan from the ground, you'll most likely lose. When piercing the Titans with the wire, you can move around the Titan. Because your attack damage is based on speed and timing, to kill an enemy with a single blow, you should use the X button to boost and follow up with the triangle button to attack. So it's pretty simple buttons to play. So it looks like squares to uh, use the manure gear, X is to boost, triangle is to attack. So it's pretty simple. It's kind of, it's kind of dumbed down, but you know, I, I expect a much with a game like this. The blades and the gas of the three-dimensional manure gear will use up. And the distance that the wire can shot depends on the weapon equipped. So again, uh, there's customizations with what you can use, and I guess based on what you use will uh, be your, your lifespan for your weapons, for your swords, for example, and how long your gas lasts. So that makes sense. Uh, players will be able to customize their weapons, durability, sharpness, gas capacity, wire shot range, and movement speed based on their playstyle. Okay, so that actually gives us actual information on how customization will work. So that's pretty cool. There are a large number of original weapons, including Japanese sword style blades. Ooh. So now we know there's going to be more than just the standard swords that we saw in uh, the series, which I was wondering how they were going to do that. But um, the question is, is what else can it really do in terms of like uh, weapons? Because I mean, it's just a sword game essentially, and since they're not going past the first season, we won't see any other equipment that was revealed later in the manga, which I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to spoil it. So we'll see how that works out. But for the most part, it's going to be pretty much no real difference to what you equip and how you customize it. End of the day, you're still flying around and you're swinging a sword. When you defeat a titan, there are times you can get items or a swallow soldier will come out. That's really cool though. I really like the fact that you can actually do that because that happened in a series a lot where you'll, you know, they'll carve up a titan and they'll save on their comrades. So I actually like how they're going to do that in the game. As far as items, that's cool. But I'm more interested in saving um, people in the game and getting them to come out afterwards. That, that's really, really cool to me. Sometimes you'll be able to recover resources from titans. You can use these resources to forge and develop new weapons. Uh, I assume so. The nape is a titan's weakness, but there is a good reward for those who destroy all parts like arms and legs. So I guess that gives you more incentive to just uh, attack as much as possible as opposed to go in and out and attack the nape of the neck like they do in a series. So now we know it's going to be more about just a, uh, completely devastating a titan as opposed to going in and out and then just cutting the back of their neck and then calling it a day. As you use each character and increase the amount of time you practice, new skills will unlock, obviously, that's, that's, that's expected. And then almost all buildings in the city can be destroyed. I am really excited about that, and I know you guys are about as well because uh, environmental destruction in anime games is so freaking awesome. It looks really, really pretty. So I'm cool. Uh, oh no, I'm cool. I'm excited to add that into the game, uh, and I wonder how it's going to uh, be. Uh, I guess I wonder how it's going to affect your gameplay when you play as Aaron, for example, in his Titan form. So that's exciting stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. So the only thing I can say, or I guess be. Uh, judgmental about or critical about is the fact that there's still no mention of multiplayer mode which originally was mentioned a while back and I don't know if they're gonna remove it or what the deal is there but if this game does not have multiplayer mode it will be the biggest letdown for me as a fan this is just myself my own thoughts uh, obviously the game still could be a lot of fun it looks incredible I mean look at the gameplay in the background um, but honestly the thing I'm excited about the most is if there is multiplayer because then playing this game with friends in a squad for example will be so much fun. Like think about it, you want like three friends like 4v1 or 4v many fighting as many times as possible in like a survival mode type of thing. That will be so freaking incredible and I really 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 hope that they add that in the game whether it's DLC or not. I, I, I need that. I just want that to be uh, added to the game the most. 
But uh, let me know your thoughts overall about multiplayer, whether or not it will affect your, uh, you know, your judgment in buying this game when it comes out by dropping a comment below. But other than that, that's uh, all the updates for today. Again, if you want to read the article for yourself, I will link it in the description below. As always, big shout out to Gamatsu for the information. And let's keep an eye out on uh, the new info that comes out over the next couple weeks slash months as we go into the release date of this game. So yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the day. My name is Ramsal, and I will see all you awesome Super Saiyans in the comment section below. Peace!